when I was coming through, an internship to a company meant free labor, mm -hmm. free help, right? Yeah, it was yeah. like, hey, let's go. Yeah, let's get an intern. We're just going to throw them in there, and it's somebody um, that we can get three months of free labor out of while they're in school. That's not what it is anymore. Mm -hmm. No. First off, if you're trying to offer a non-paying internship, a, a good luck with that. It's funny you mention that, Brandon, because I actually um, wanted to say this is an earn while you learn opportunity where you are mentored, you are coached, and you are developed. And so my hope is that you've, you've found that in the last, uh, I guess, 11 weeks. It's gone by so fast. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. 11 weeks in. Welcome back to the Give Us Dirt podcast powered by Hoopa Grading Company. My name is Brandon. I am your host. We have got a uh, very special episode today, and I just learned about 30 seconds ago that it is National Internship Day, which I didn't even know was a thing, but how appropriate, because that is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Today, we have not one, but two guests who are going to give us all the dirt about the value of internships in construction. It's like getting a VIP pass to the construction industry's backstage. First up, we have Andrea Riblin, the mastermind behind our training and curriculum. We uh, we like to think of her as the Yoda of HGC. You like that? We're, we're going to put that on your business card. <laughs> Guiding everyone with wisdom and a clear path to being the best. Andrea joined the team in 22 and has since been a true powerhouse for this team. She's the educational ninja. That's another one. Yoda, an educational ninja, who took an elementary school to the top 5% in South Carolina and was named Principal of the Year. She's also a trainer for Stephen Covey's Leader in Me and Linciani's Working Genius. She is literally toting around the ultimate toolkit for our team. Next, we have Jack Knoll, our HGC summer intern and rising senior at Georgia Southern. Jack's been digging into the deep cuts of our operation, and he's loving every minute of it from what I hear. Whether he's out in the field or hitting the books, Jack is all about construction management. Plus, when he's not hard at work, you'll find him perfecting his golf swing and, so possible. <laughs> and soaking up the sun on the lake. Jack, Andrea, welcome to the Give Us the Dirt podcast. Well, thank you. Thanks, Brandon. And we were, we were talking just before we got started. Andrea came in with notes, came in with my script, which I don't know how she got that's yeah <laughs> nobody and then your own notes which yeah. is which is why you are the yoda that's why you're the educational ninja you never show up well, unprepared prepared. that's right that's true um so did you know it was national internship i had Day? no idea yeah but great timing yeah did I you know <laughs> yeah that's uh that's a that's great i don't know what we're supposed to do are we supposed to get you a cake or are we supposed to do something i feel like we should do something I'm getting all the experience here. That, look at that. Look at that. That's the gift that he's looking for, the right. experience of the internship. We probably got to give us a dirt mug or something like that we can throw in too. But, Jack, we're excited to have you. Thanks for agreeing to do right. this. We want to talk about the internship program. We haven't done that before on the podcast, but mm -hmm. I think it's a really cool thing that we offer here at uh, Hoopah Grading Company, and we're starting to see more and more of this in the industry. And so this is unique because we're going to get both sides of it. We're going to oh, yeah. get the employer's perspective, but then we're also going to get your perspective mm -hmm. too um so i'm gonna start with you andrea okay. um you're you're the guru of our training programs right so what are the key steps to establishing an effective internship program in construction so to really establish a strong just baseline you have to start with your people your internal people what do we need what are we already capable of training um, you know, what makes what makes a good, in Jack's instance, you know, he is going to school to be a project manager. So where does that start? And so I think um, good communication skills and listening to teammates to decide, hey, this is where we need to start. Honestly, this is what we need to develop our pipeline. Uh, we start there as well. Um, we've kind of expanded our program because not only do we work with the internal people, we actually go to universities now. Um, York Technical School, Georgia S Southern, um, CPCC, UNCC, and you know I have their curriculum. So we really start with internal, and then marry uh, what the kids are learning at school to make sure that we have a good intersection between academics and field experience. 
That's really cool. So you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unpack that because there was a lot in that answer right there. So, you know, you're talking about you, you've you helped us build this program. We didn't have an internship program. You've helped us build this from scratch. And you and your, your vast experience, I mean, has come in just handy for us to be able to do this and offer us. But it's so important for us to be able to show folks like you oh, yeah. what the industry is all about, uh, give you a taste of it so that you can decide where you want to be and mm-hmm. what you want to do. But, Andre, that's not an easy thing to do inside of a construction company and you know it is new so when you're doing this you said start with what's the need right what are we looking for what roles are we trying to backfill the pipeline with but then you're also having to evaluate who who can help us with these internship programs what leaders within the company can what can i put a jack with and, and and teach so you're having to teach them how to teach jack Right, and it goes back to relationships. You know, everything in life is about a relationship and about communication. Um, You have to build trust. You have to, you know, make sure that people know what the expectations are. Um, A lot of people had never mentored before. Um, It's a a lot like coaching, and so just, you know, providing that information for them and just saying, hey, I'm always here if you have a question, and um, just supporting them and checking in along the way. So true. It, it, the relationships part of it is is critical, and you've done that on both sides of the equation. You've done it internally, but you've also had to build relationships with these schools that you mentioned. Yes. You've had to go out and talk to them about the internship program that we're building and gain their trust and confidence that, that they should recommend this program to their students. Absolutely, and also that, you know, have felt very fortunate that they share their curriculum. Because the biggest thing for us is, um, you know, when, when our interns come in, I'll use Jack as an example, um, our interview process is pretty strenuous. Um, I'm not technically looking for skills. I'm looking for character. Um, that's what HGC is about. And so, um, you know, we can teach you how to do a job, but we can't necessarily teach you how to be a good person. And so we really take good people and provide them real work experience to make, like I said earlier, those classroom, you know, everything they've learned there, it comes to life for them. And Jack and I, before um, the podcast, we were actually talking about uh, a couple of the differences um, that he has seen compared to some of his buddies. Mm. And so, you know, our focus is boots in the dirt, boots on the ground. You know, how how can you, you know, um, learn what a PM's job is fully is unless you've got some experience with a shovel and so really excited that you know we have this summer two great interns who welcome that who have appreciated that and every check-in has been so excited about what they've learned with the different resource groups that's so cool that's going to make you feel good i mean to to hear that this was a very extensive interview process Mm -hmm. and and you were up against a lot of other people but you were selected and given the opportunity based on your character and I love hearing that because that's the that's truly what we're hopeful for with this program is that we're able to go out and recruit the five star right. players. That's like right. we want the best of the best, and to do that, you got to be able to to really weed through everybody that wants the opportunity. It's funny, you know, it, back uh, when I was coming through, an internship to a company meant free labor, mm-hmm. free help, right? Yeah, it was yeah. like, hey, let's go, yeah, let's get an intern. We're just going to throw them in there, and it's somebody. Um, that we can get three months of free labor out of while they're in school. That's not what it is anymore. No. First off, if you're trying to offer a non-paying internship, good luck with that. It's funny you mention that, Brandon, because I actually um, wanted to say this is an earn-while-you-learn opportunity where you are mentored, you are coached, and you are developed. And so my hope is that you you found that in the last, uh, I guess, 11 weeks. It's gone by so fast. Yeah, for sure. 11 weeks in mm-hmm. jack let's talk to you a little bit so you're living the intern life right now oh, how's yeah. that what does the intern life look like it's it's very enjoyable i i love it everyone i've met here has just been amazing they teach me what they know and i try and absorb as much of that as i can so i uh i mean everything i've everything i've done here has just furthered my 
intrigue to this industry and I, 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 I love every minute of it. That's cool to hear you say that everyone's been pitching in to help teach. Mm -hmm. That's what you want out of a program. That your your teaching is not just coming from Andrea. Mm -hmm. It's not just coming from the team development group. Mm -hmm. That everybody that you get to work alongside of is pitching in to help pour into you. And that's what you, you say you've oh, experienced. Yeah. Everyone I've met. Um what makes this pro Andrea mentioned that you've talked to some of your buddies that are doing mm -hmm. internships with other companies right now. What makes this program stand out from what they may be going through? Well, going back to what Andrea said, it's the boots in the ground. Every if all my other friends, they are doing office work. They haven't seen the field really, maybe a couple of times. I'm out there same as everyone else, just every day. Uh this last week of my internship, I'm gonna be in the office more, but I think having that experience in the field is what's key to being in this industry because you want to have an idea of what everyone else is going through instead of just sitting in the office and not even thinking about it and just continuing on with your day. And that's going to come in so handy for you as you continue to advance through your career. Let's say, you know, if the hope is one day I want to be in project management and I want to be in a leadership position, having that experience of being out there, boots on the ground, mm -hmm. on the field, like you're going to you're going to have that forever. You're going to oh, remember yeah. that. And so every decision you make in that role, you're going to know how it affects the people mm -hmm. out in the field, especially dealing with the conditions that some of these guys are in. And I can mention utilities and like the heat. I mean, this summer has been really hot, but I mean, even the grading guys, it gets pretty it gets pretty hot out there. And just uh, same with survey, walking around all day. It's it's hard, but we get it done. You. You've gotten to see several different facets of the operation. You oh, yeah. Tell me about the rotation. What all have you done so far? So uh, I started off in Masquerade. I was there about a month and a half. They had me in a roller. Uh, that was very enjoyable. You get to see, I mean, you kind of sit back and then have the dozers do the work and bring, they bring in the mud with the trucks. And then, uh, but you, uh, you get to see really the whole operation from there and just kind of observe, I feel, from that roller position. And uh, just kind of take it in. After that, I was with utilities for two weeks. And uh, let me tell you, it's 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 a hard job they do out there. And uh, I don't think I'll ever forget working out there with them. But it, it's it's a good experience to have. And now I'm with uh, Survey. And we've been around a couple of sites. And I, it's very enjoyable to see the preliminary, preliminary set of things you need to do to even get to the point to where you need to work and move the dirt and get everything done shout out to the utility guys oh, yeah. yeah that's tough huh oh yeah they yeah. do what it takes every day <laughs> yeah yeah they truly are living out the core values every day it's a tough job and and i'm sure they're going to appreciate the shout out there. there's right. a lot of respect for for that team and mm -hmm. what they do but what a cool experience you've gotten to do the mass grading equipment operations and mm -hmm. surveying utilities what What's next? What do you have left? Uh, I'm going to be in the office with y'all guys, so I'm going to see the kind of behind Nothing the scenes. Nothing fun happens here in the <laughs> office. You, the fun stuff happens out in the field. I uh, will see. Uh, I hope to see, like, maybe the beginning of some things, like a bid or so, maybe uh, to see projects throughout. Because I've seen it in the field. I've seen it with the, with the supers and just how they kind of coordinate everything. And like Andre was saying, coordination and communication is key. I mean, you can't get anything done without that, and especially with everyone that I've met, everyone's great. You can, everyone can work together and get what it get what you need to do done. Mm. That's if you've been able to pick up on nothing but just that—that that it's about coordination and communication. That right there, if we can solve that riddle, we wouldn't have any issues anymore. <laughs> so, but that's always when things go wrong. It's it's one of those. Uh, it's, it's usually the communication piece mm -hmm. of it. So, well, that's exciting. That's a great program. I, I remember when I first started with Martin Marietta, I went into it. It wasn't an internship program. I actually came in. They put me in a management training program, mm -hmm. but it was a very similar setup. I got to rotate through various aspects of the operation. I was at the quarry. I was loading shots. I was yeah, running yeah. haul trucks. I went to the QC lab for a few weeks. I went to, you know, marketing department, but it was a, just a great 360 view of the whole operation to give me a taste of what it uh, what it takes to do it all mm -hmm. um, what I like to do where am I passionate about it what do I enjoy doing what do I not enjoy doing mm -hmm. and then just a respect 
for the men and women that are out there doing it every day. And I, I never forgot that. I always held that piece of my training uh, through my career and remembered, all right, I was out there loading the shot. Oh, yeah. I was out there running the, the truck. I was out there, you know, in that lab running samples all day long. I know what, what that looks like. And, mm-hmm. and I thought about that as we had to make decisions, the impact that it was having on others. So you'll carry that. Oh, yeah. A very, I, I hope so. And I, I plan to. Because watching these guys do the job day in, day out, it it's it's a lot, but I can see what it takes to do this position and to move that forward into a higher position to help coordinate that and get things done. How has it felt? Do they know you're an intern out there? They know that... Uh, when I first get there, they're kind of like, oh, look, new guy, and then... Uh, I'll uh, I'll be like yeah I'm summer intern there's only two of us uh, from the college level but uh, yeah I mean I, everyone I just fit in like everyone else so it works out well so it's not all right hey we got an intern out here and then ragging you a little no, bit uh, that, maybe a little bit but eh, it's enjoyable <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I, I told you about my program when I was going through it that was one of the things they knew I was I was short term mm-hmm. right I wasn't gonna be there forever and so they were throwing everything at me and I was determined I was like I'm not gonna let them break me I'm gonna work harder than oh, anybody yeah. I'm gonna stay longer than anybody I'm gonna get through this and it kind of backfired on me because at the end of it they said hey you're doing pretty good. Why don't you stick around and, and keep loading these shots or, or stick around? And I said, no, no. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I'm, I'm, I'm heading down the sales path mm-hmm. and I did that, but I'm glad that your experience has gone well. Have you faced any challenges over the last 11 weeks that you faced that you didn't anticipate? Uh, not really, but I think the biggest challenge, especially now during the summer is the heat. I mean, you got to cons- consistently stay hydrated. I mean, just, being aware of your surroundings, sometimes the heat gets to you, you're not really fully there. But uh, I think that's probably the hardest thing that everyone's dealing with out there right now. It's been hot this summer. Mm-hmm. It was hot and dry. <laughs> and you know, and that is one of the things that we have to face with getting people to come into this business is that I, you're going to be outside. Right. And, and it's an outside job. It's an outside game that we play. And, and it's going to be hot some days. It's going to be rainy. It's going to be mm-hmm. humid some days. But I guess you just gotta like being outside. Oh, yeah. And just uh, just keep pushing forward. Do what it takes. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So we're gonna. This is we're gonna get. You're gonna give advice now. You're gonna be the Yoda mm-hmm. of of the internship uh, program. So I wanna. This is the give us the dirt part, right? I'm gonna ask mm-hmm. both of you to give us some advice to our listeners for both sides of this. To the companies that may be thinking about. Mm-hmm create an internship program and then to the students that are looking for the opportunity Mm so Andrea what advice would you give to a company that may be thinking about offering an internship program I would say um, don't be afraid to start and um, don't start too fast make sure that you um, you know do your homework inside make sure that you know um, you, you need to find out your who's um, and by that, back to your point of, you know, everybody's, everybody um, is not going to be the right fit to be a mentor or to be a coach or trainer out in the field. And so, you know, identifying them and really giving them a say. Um, this, isn't a, this isn't an Andrea Roblin show. This is a hoofa grading, let's come together, let's figure out what's going to work. And um, uh, I'm really glad that the, the heat and the elements didn't scare you all. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, think about the honesty um, b- behind this program. You know, what is it that you need? What's your why as a company? What do you want your end game to be? You know, for us, the end game is an investment. We're investing in, you know, these college students to make sure that they receive exactly what they need. Um, Jack is actually in survey because he's taking a survey class next semester. And so get to know these interns, get to know their coursework, get to know, you know, what they need. Let them be a part of, um, of, of the program. Uh, for us, it's not cookie cutter. I, I work with each individual intern and, um, and it's, you know, we, we develop a plan day one and then day 14, that plan may change based on their interests, based on things that they've seen or heard out in the field. And so it's a, you know, it's a constant check-in. So just be ready to put the, the, the pre-work in and be ready to get that communication 
um, strong and ongoing throughout the program. What is that cadence of communication between uh, team development group and the interns? Yeah, so, um, you know, we, we, I check on them. Um, we have a team that goes out and checks on them um, in the field. Um, I'm checking in with their superintendents. There are surveys that go out to say, hey, you know, uh, is the intern enjoying this? What are they learning? We really look to our interns to give us feedback. And that's not just a check, you know, checking a box. That's actually, we, we're using that. We're using that to develop, um, you know, the end of this program, but also next year's program. What can that look like to make us stronger and make us better? Um, for HGC, but for our interns. That's great. So you felt that support throughout. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, coming in, it's a little little daunting. You're, you're like, I've never been in this industry before. I mean, some people have, but for me, I, I have no experience. None of my family is in construction at all. So coming in, I'm going in blind. But uh, everything this company has given me and offered has really – solidified my idea and uh, drive to be in this industry. And I, I love it. That's great. That's great. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. Andrea, that's good advice. So I, I was trying to write down, you said a lot there, but don't, don't be scared to take the first yeah, step, start, but yeah. don't start in a full sprint either. That's I mean, right. go slow, that's ask right. the questions. It's the crock what, pot model. Yeah. Yeah. What are we trying to, what are we trying to accomplish? Exactly. Um, why are we doing this and who are we looking for? And, and then I would imagine it's going to be critical to establish those referral partnerships with the schools and going out and really getting them to be your eyes and ears Most definitely. in the community to look for those that you feel like would be the right fit for your program. For sure, yeah. What about you? What do you think about uh, what would your advice be to the company that's thinking about setting up an internship program, how they could do that successfully? I know I said it before, but the – it's the outfield experience, not sitting in an office doing paperwork all day. Give them, give, let go of the reins a little bit. Let them kind of get out there and get a feel of what it's like to live the life and to do the job. I really think that's key. And especially tying into some of my classes, like she was saying, uh, I'm taking survey next semester. I'm in it right now. So I'm going to already have that idea of what to do and also using some of the equipment so i'm not going to go in blind and uh, maybe i can help someone else that's also in my class to teach and show them how to use it and just having that experience just it pushes you forward you're not going to be asking more questions you're going to be helping teach those other people and explaining to them oh you need to do this you need to do that but i think just being out there it gives you everything you need. Yeah. You know, you said a word there multiple times, and the word is experience. An internship is not a job. It's not supposed to be a job. It's mm -hmm. an experience. It's oh, an yeah. opportunity for you to come and experience everything that the company is about, that the industry is about, so that, you know, it's a, it's a long-term game. It is. It's not a short-term, hey, we got somebody to fill a seat right now. We're investing in you, and you are investing back in us. And with the hope that one day you decide, hey, I like this industry. Mm -hmm. I like this job. I like oh, this yeah. company. I'm going to come back. That's right. Um, great advice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jack. Uh, Jack what I love to hear that you're, that you're already thinking about paying it forward. You know, when you get into that survey class and you have some experience and somebody else is struggling, mm -hmm. then, um, you know, it does my, my trainer heart good to know that, you know, we're creating a trainer also. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. What about, Andre? what about to the intern? What advice would you give to the intern that's considering their options right now? So really appreciate Jack sharing um, throughout this experience his appreciation for f the field. Um, I think that a lot of people who are going into construction management, they automatically think, um, oh, I'm going to be in the office. Give me a truck, air condition, yes, office. Sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so don't be afraid when you hear – hey, our internship starts in the field. Um, I think a lot of people are looking for that, that paper part. But to Jack's point, you're going to learn and be so much more effective when you've been out there and you've lived the life. Day in, day out, heat, rain, what that looks like. 
if you're an intern and you're trying to get through Andrea's uh, interview process, extensive interview mm -hmm. process, and your mm -hmm. first question is, what is the thermostat set to? You're not gonna make yeah. it. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're not yeah, gonna make it. Point. When does my truck arrive? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're not gonna make it. That's yeah. automatic. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Here, let me let me give you this other number. Yeah. Call these people. Hmm. One thing that we're so fortunate about here, and I would say this to to any intern, um, ask the questions about you know our, our entire HGC family. We are on board with this. Um, our, our safety department, you know, these gentlemen had the opportunity to ride on with safety for a day. What does that look like? They had the opportunity to ride with a senior superintendent in mass grading for a day. They had the opportunity to ride w with one of our directors of construction for a day. And so, um, and, and I think that I called and said, hey, don't waste this time. This is going to be, you know, go ahead and, and write down some of your questions that you have. Um, we do that about midpoint. Um, and, and the reason why is we really want them to see and experience what our company is about. And our company is about our teammates. That's a great point, you know, because it's not you, – you can't just go out and say, I want to offer an internship program and build this curriculum and implement it without having the buy-in from everybody involved. You have got to establish a mindset that we are a teaching company. And we're going to slow down. We're actually going to step away from what we're trying to do long enough to teach somebody why we're doing it, how we're doing it, and um, and give them the tools to be able to do it successfully and teach others. Yeah, in our industry, it's very important for us to look at a pipeline. Uh, we, we need to create opportunities for um, people who are interested in what we do to learn and grow into who they will be one day. Yeah, yeah. That's great. What about you, Jack? What, what would you say to your fellow classmates that are looking for internship opportunities about uh, internships in the construction business? Don't take the office job. It's, it, <laughs> oh, there it is. There's your sound bite right there. Don't take the office job. Uh, I mean, especially with this company, everyone is willing to help and willing to give you the information that they have accumulated over their experience so that they can push your experience forward. I, I think being able to, once again, be out in the field and just take in everything, ask the questions that you, I mean, if you have a tiny question that you think is pointless, ask it. It's, it's worth it. You want to hear that answer. Ask about how the process works of things. I mean, you want to, you want to see, how everything is coordinated and how you can move that through throughout day in, day out, week, month, year. You know, I, I picked up on a little bit of that as you were talking earlier that when you were on the roller, mm -hmm. you said you were able to see how the whole dance was taking place, oh, yeah. right? You were seeing the whole, how everything was working in uh, coordination with each other to, to execute the project. Mm -hmm which that's a great approach to that. And, and the way that you're able to do that is you ask questions. Mm -hmm. Why, how does this play into the goal of the team? How, how is what, me rolling you know, this strip right here or me being on this piece of equipment or me setting these stakes, how does that play into our ultimate goal? Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to ask those questions. Oh, yeah. And when thing? you ask those questions, I mean, you don't get people to say, hey, that's a stupid question. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. The great thing about um, – our superintendents and our mentors in the field, they are so willing to, you know, we live, we live in empowerment here and we teach that um, during their orientation. And so we say, there is no dumb question. If you're thinking it, ask it. And, um, and it's been really nice to hear, you know, they, not only did they answer the question, they took them and explained it or hand over hand, pulled the blueprints out, showed them what that looked like. Mm. So we, we are very fortunate here to have um, committed engaged leaders that really want to pay it forward that's great that's great to hear have they, so have they nicknamed you yet no i don't have a nickname they didn't give you <laughs> we got to work on that i will say i will say this jack had a lot more hair during um the internship the the orientation and he came back about two weeks later and i know for one of our um, breakfast yeah mm. and i said jack you got your hair cut? And he said, it's hot out there. <laughs> <laughs> I cut it the day before we started. I was like, I'm not going out there with that. Not with that heat. 
I, I would love to tell you that's why I cut mine, but that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Jack, this has been so much fun. I, it, it gives us so much joy and pride to know that your experience here has been a good one. And I hope that our listeners have taken something away from this episode from both sides of this, right? From the company standpoint, how we can continue to invest in the next generation of construction workers, mm -hmm. but then also from the internship, like, don't look for the easy gig. Don't look for the office gig. Be willing to come in here, put your boots on, go out to the field, learn, ask questions and build you a solid foundation for the rest of your career in the industry. Cause right. it can be a fruitful one. Mm -hmm. 100%. I really appreciate y'all having me in this, internship program it is giving me an insight that i would have not found anywhere else that's great you gonna come back oh yeah 100 percent. Oh, there you go there you that's the goal that's the goal. well jack thanks for being in andrea thank you thank for you. being on the podcast and we look forward to watching uh watching you and the rest of your internship and the rest of your mm -hmm. career thank you if you like listening to the give us a dirt podcast we want you to hit the like button and subscribe for more great content